Friday Night Football presented by the All-State Sugar Bowl. 100th year, Holy Cross and Jesuit, and the military flyover before the game. This may be the first ever at a high school game, and it was spectacular. Awfully impressive, awfully impressive. The Tigers are gonna start with the ball first. Fourth and two, Kobe Young right here, Coach. Well, they got they the get the, flip, co the coin, coin flip, and then they go 19 plays, 80 yards. This was a big play. Yes, sir. Kobe Fourth Young. and two, Kobe Young with the eight-yard keeper. He gets the first down. Now, nine plays later, Finn Martin is gonna finish the job. Kobe Young on the shovel pass. PAT was no good. Tigers go up six to nothing. Nice play call on the shuffle pass. All right, this was a good play call at all. Looks like Young was going to sweep it right. He pulls up and finds Finn Martin behind the secondary. It's a 51-yard touchdown. The PAT no good, but the Tigers up 12 nothing before the big crowd at Gorman. Oh, but Perez is going to leave the uh, Jefferson Blue Jays right back. He's going to take it in from one yard out. He cuts the lead seven to 12. All right, Holy Cross forced the punt, blocked by Wyatt Mir, recovered by Tyler Otan at the HC 20-yard line. Jays are going to try to take advantage, but here we're going to see Perez's pass get picked by Dylan Hazelwood. Nice play to stop a big drive against the Blue Jays. After the half, Aiden Corbello, 38-yard field goal right here. He's awfully dependable and right down the middle. So that cut the Tiger lead to 12-10. One play later, or a little play later, it's Jace Larson for a 34-yard touchdown from Perez. Jesuit takes the lead 16-12 after the failed two-point conversion. Tigers have one last chance. Young rolls left, pulls up, and he fires it downfield, but the yellow flag comes out. They get an interference call. Seven seconds left on the clock from the 20-yard line. Canatello looks to Colby Young in the end zone, but it's going to be picked by Connor Capo. Jesuit goes on to win this ball game in the 100th meeting. So the Jays likely clinch a playoff spot. They beat Holy Cross 16 to 12. And Archbishop Shaw rolling the Shaw Eagles now 7 and 2.